Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Arkin Builds It. Today, we're going to be going over a $4,000 Lego haul, and we're going to be starting with the Imperial Shuttle over here. With the Imperial Shuttle, this is set 75302. It comes with 660 pieces, and it comes with three minifigures. We have Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and the Imperial Officer. I'm really excited to be building this one and just building and continuing to build my Lego collection. The next one we have is Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. This one comes with 474 pieces and it comes with four minifigures. We have Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and General uh, Dondana, and R2-D2. The next one is going to be set 75312, Boba Fett's Starship with 593 pieces. This one with, comes with uh, the two Mandalorians. We have Boba Fett and we have the Mandalorian. Right over here, we have the vintage taxi from me. The next one is the bonsai. The bonsai tree, I'm super excited that I managed to get my hands on it. It was kind of hard in my area to find it. And this one comes with uh, 878 pieces and it's set 10281. Uh, the next one is gonna be the armored assault tank, the AAT. It's 200. And 86 pieces and it comes with four minifigures we have the battle droid the AAT um, driver battle droid Ahsoka Tano and Ahsoka's uh, clone trooper such a nice set over here we have a, a big set one of our big ones is called the Hogwarts icons collections editions and it's the Harry Potter uh, owl with the invitation to the school this one looks gorgeous I do like the, the way that they added the potions here as well as the wand and a ton of other stuff from the movies. The owl itself looks awesome as well. This is set 76391. It comes with 3,010 pieces. Right above that, we have the set, uh, set 75300, the Imperial uh, TIE Fighter. 432 pieces, as well as with three minifigures. Right to the side of that, we have one that I, I was really happy I was able to find at Target. And I did manage to get myself, uh, I think, two of these. This is the Armors Mandalorian Forge. This one just looks gorgeous. I do love the mini figures. Some of them are not as accurate to the movie, but again, they do look awesome. Look at that. Right under that, we have RD2, uh, R2-D2. And this is uh, set uh, 75308. This one comes with 2,314 pieces, and it's actually smaller than the one next to it, uh, pieces count-wise, but I believe this one's so, super cool because it has a lot of the mechanisms inside that open up and are able uh, to be interacted with. On the side right here are going to be the first three pieces I've bought uh, for, of Legos since I started building my collection. This is the James Bond Austin Martin DB5. It comes uh, with 1,295 pieces. And it's set 10262. This one is going to look super cool. I'm either going to put it here outside in the living room, in the library section, or simply just have it uh, and take it to work with me. If you guys do hear my dog's footsteps in the back, I'll, I'll probably do a little reveal of what he looks like in the upcoming videos. Ide uh, Lego's idea set 21320. This one, uh, I think it was the first one that actually initially got me back into Legos. This one just looks gorgeous. I really like how Lego just made this kind of look and made it real simple. There is 910 pieces, but the, it's not too bulky and it also just looks aesthetically simple and modern and pleasing in my point of view. Now this one is going to be such a cool one to build. This is uh, Stranger Things. I'm happy I got myself uh, this one from the Lego store when it was still available. It's not available anymore. This is one of the retired pieces, including also the creator of James Bond, as well as the... Um, dinosaur one right here this one is the stranger things set 75810 the upside down and it comes with 2287 pieces as well as the minifigures look awesome and i think we do have a demigordon included on the side right here we have darth vader's meditation chamber this one has a, lo a lot of um back and forth from the community of kind of like some people like it some people don't so I do agree the price to get this, which I believe I paid 90, uh, 90, 90 99 uh, US dollars. It's a little high for what you get, but it's still such an awesome scene. This is set 75296, comes with 663 pieces and two mini figures. 
Right at the bottom of that, we have the bad butch, uh, the bad batch attack shuttle. And this is a uh, set seven, five, three, one, four, 969 pieces. And again, the mini figures included here are just awesome. If you guys haven't had a chance to see the series in Disney plus, I highly recommend it. It's super awesome. And, um, yeah, we're going to be having fun building this one as well. To the side here, we did acquire, like I said, a secondary, the armors Mandalorian forge. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm not going to go too in depth into it as we recovered it. But again, look at the visuals there. I do like the fire. On the bottom of that, we have another head. We have the Scout Trooper Star Wars. This is going to be set 75305. And as well as this one comes with 471 pieces. Right here to the side of that, we have two of the same uh, sets. We got two of the Mandalorian Starfighter. With three, it uh, comes with three minifigures as well as uh, 544 pieces. This is set 75316. The price for all these uh, are gonna be in the description as well as potentially maybe in the future some links of where you guys can acquire to help out the channel. And remember, if you like and uh, are gonna be excited to possibly see a lot of the reviews and time-lapse builds of all these sets that we're covering today, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, going back into it, we have the Imperial Light Cruiser. This is 1,336 pieces. This one, I'm really happy I got my hands onto it because I heard it was gonna be retiring at the end of this year. This one comes with, we have another uh, Grogu, the Mandalorian, uh, Cara Dune, uh, Fancy Shad, uh, Moff, uh, Moff Gideon, and the Dark Trooper. Again, I'm pretty sure I butchered some of these names, and I'm going to get roasted in the comments. But again, we're going to have a good time with it. All right, here to the side, we are going to continue. And we ended up getting this Monkey King for, I think, acquiring one uh, of a spoiler uh, in the, of the upcoming sets. We did get a Ninjago set, and this came with a purchase of it. Again, it's you know, such a nice, simple uh, set, but I, I kind of like it because it's going to be potentially used with other, some of these other sets in the future, especially if I do an aqu uh, aquatic scene. Right under that, we have the Im uh, Imperial Probe Droid. This is set uh, 7536, and it's going to be with 683 pieces. Look how cool that looks. Some people have complained that the, hand the hands and all that are a bit loose, but still such an awesome set just to have on the side and just look at. We did also end up getting a, a Razor Crest, which Ari ended up building. We are going to have a review of this in, a, in an upcoming video, but you can see it's finished right over here. We have also right here the Imperial Armored uh, Marauder. This one's a tank of a build simply because how long, how beefy and cool it looks. It also comes with uh, three mini, uh, mini figures of the Stormtroopers and Grief Karg. It's going to be such a cool build, 478 pieces, and again, this is set uh, 75311. Right, well, now we're going to get to the bigger sets, which, again, I'm going to be taking a while to build this and, and get and get out a review of this. But we have the gorgeous Harry Potter Diagon Alley. This is set 75978. Seven, Sorry about that. And we're also going to have 5,544 pieces with that. If you guys can see right here. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. We have the um, uh, quality of uh, Quidditch and supplies store right here on the, in the middle. And we have on the side, Ollivanders with the wands. And we have a ton, absolutely a um, good amount of minifigures. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 minifigures, not including all the owls and all the little extras that we're going to have. It comes with uh, four stores, and honestly, in the future, I was potentially thinking of building a Lego city. And I knew if I didn't get this one uh, yet, I'm going to be really disappointed. With that, I also heard that the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle was going to be retiring this year. So I knew I had to acquire this. This is a massive set. I believe this is the fifth largest set right now in the world that you can get from Lego. It was the fourth, but it got pushed down by the new at, -AT. Of, of this year or last year. This comes with 6,020 pieces. This is set 71043. And it comes with a cool dragon on top, which I'm really excited to build and see. There you go. And again, it comes with um so, uh, one of the uh, four originals of the house right over here. All right, another big set we acquired was the Ultimate Collector's Edition right here this is the imperial star destroyer 4784 pieces and it's set 75252 absolutely massive set and finally uh it came out that they're going to be retiring this year 
with that, we have the Ultimate Collector Series, the uh, Millennium Falcon. This is set 75192. Absolutely massive. 7,541 pieces. This one's going to be awesome to review and also have it just simply uh, put around the house. If we go back up above those two Ultimate Collector Editions, we have the Ninjago Legacy. This is also another gorgeous with a massive amount of, of minifigures. You can see all the minifigures that it includes right here in the bottom. I'll zoom in so you guys can all kind of get an idea. I really haven't followed the Ninjago series in the sense of um, the series, the movies, or the TV, but just from the colors and all uh, the Lego pieces, it kind of gets me wondering if I should. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. 5,685 pieces, and this is set 71741 Ninjago City Gardens. With that, we're going to do an overview of all the sets. We do have uh, three more sets coming in, and one that I did forget to, uh, that I just noticed it was on the side right here. We have Darth Vader's um, Trooper Head, and again, this is set 75304, and at 834 pieces. This one's gonna be absolutely such a fun build to make and review and post it up for everyone here to see. Now, these are the type of builds and uh, that are gonna be upcoming in the sense of time lapse, but also of uh, set reviews. We're gonna be releasing hopefully one or two a week. Uh, right now, this initial one is gonna be sent off and then I'm hoping I can record another one or two this week and send it off before Monday and Friday of the upcoming week. If you do like and are looking forward to seeing all these reviews and seeing how the channel, uh, channel grows, do not forget to like and subscribe, which helps out the channel and also shows me that you guys want are liking what I'm seeing. If there's any sets that you guys want me to buy and cover, please do not hesitate and write it in the comment section below. If they're still available, I will acquire them and we will be reviewing them together. Thank you again. And again, thank you for visiting Arkin Builds It.